Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've got a 36 week update for you this week. Um, and I'm gonna show you what I'm bringing to the hospital. I did just post on my TikTok a quick overview of what's in my diaper bag that I'll be bringing to the hospital. This is the base diaper bag. So if you wanna check that out and see what I've got packed in here, take a look. All right, I've got a lot of bags, a lot of things. But I do feel like this is such an important night and day and however many days will be there, hopefully not long. So bringing things that make me feel more at home and more comfortable and make me happy are just important. And Jeff and I are laughing about this, that it's basically the biggest overnight trip of our lives. So why not have the things that make you happy and bring you joy? I do have a list of things to kind of grab when we're leaving. Obviously these bags are one of them. Um, but some pillows, which I don't have packed yet, pillows off our bed, this to me toiletry bag that I do have like extra toiletry things in there that are ready to go. So I can just grab that, uh, and throw anything else in there. I've got some hair stuff, some soap, some body wash, some lip balm. I don't think I'll wash my hair while I'm there, but it depends, I guess what happens. Put contacts, um, extra glasses. And a tiny bit of makeup because I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I've never done this before. Okay, so I've got my packing cubes. These are so helpful for organizing. I use them all the time for traveling. This one's for little babe. You can check that out on, on my TikTok. Exactly what I packed for him, which will go in the uh, back in the diaper bag as well. One of these for me. So basically in this one is some underwear. Um, Everything's like pretty much ready to go. Some high-waisted, these are my favorite, my Walmart Hanes underwear for pregnancy. They're so, so stretchy and soft. Got some loose, comfy sports bra type bras. One that's a little more structured and a little more fitted for extra support if I need that. Lots of socks and uh, these bad boys, which are secret, um, discreet, they're actually scented. Someone gifted these to me. I had no idea I would ever need these, but hey, here they are. There's no shame in this game. And then I've got some Frida disposable high-waisted. I actually bought the cesarean section ones because they are high-waisted. So I threw some of those in there. Apparently the ones at the hospital are fantastic. A long comfy um, tank top that's stretchy. And then of course, lots of pads. I know that they do give you some stuff at the hospital, but it's better to be prepared. Okay, so I've also got the Freedom Mom perineal, peri bottle, sorry. Uh, this is apparently heaven and great for after. I haven't opened it just in case I didn't need it. I could probably gift it to one of my girlfriends, but that's just to keep everything feeling extra clean. And I think it just feels good in general. Again, I don't know, but everyone tells me I need one of these, so. I've got that. I've also got some Freedom Mom um, cooling therapy pads. These feel so thick and so large. I can't imagine putting them down there, but hey, apparently you just snap them. I'm thinking like a glow stick and then they start to cool on their own. So I've got a handful of those. Obviously, you need some breast pads for leakage or whatever is going to happen to these booms. Some Tux uh, cleansing pads. These are just like a wet... Um, like a makeup remover or makeup pad that have some witch hazel uh, and, and they just are really cooling and soothing. Apparently these are a lifesaver after. And then my favorite store here in Halifax is Nurtured. They recommended this Earth Mama perineal spray. Again, things I never knew I needed to have and you probably could get by without, but if you can, as they say, take care of down there and make everything feel good, why not? I've got some Cure Body Whip for after or just being in the hospital and feeling a little, a little dry. And then I was recommended to bring one of these. So I've got a little candle to kind of set the mood. I, I did hear that the IWK does provide some and they also do um, try and put salt lamps in the rooms as well, which is kind of nice. And then I've got my belly wrap. So this was something recommended to me by my pelvic floor therapist, Steph. Um, just for after to keep everything kind of feeling um, secure and putting everything, 
of putting it back in place, but helping it kind of go back in place in a way, um, just to support all the things that have been stretched out and moved around and now they can kind of shrink back up and go back into shape. So that's probably going to feel good. Can use that right after. And then I've got this lovely blanket that my aunt, 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 I don't know, that she knit. So that's recommended to bring a nice little blanket. And then our other bag, so our third bag, we'll have our suitcase, the baby's diaper bag, kind of bag. And then we've got this kind of miscellaneous aloe yoga bag, which, which is basically full of some snacks. Um, I've got this indigo from Chapters blanket. I just washed it. It's so nice. And that will just feel better, I think, to have on me at times than the hospital situation, whatever that may be. Okay, for snacks, I've been obsessed with these. These are cinnamon rice cakes, obsessed. So I brought a pack of those. Some dried apples, which happen to be cinnamon, just by coincidence. My chiropractor recommended G2, just because I'll be really thirsty. So I've got a few of those. And then basically this miscellaneous Ziploc bag, which Jeff put together. Um, I've got some vitamins, some gum, some made with local bars, some kind bars, a pen, hand sanitizer, Kleenex, some essential oils, a long charger for our devices, which was recommended. And yeah, I've got lavender oil and then a peppermint rub-on oil as well. So those are meant to kind of help me just feel a little more at ease and relax. I don't know if there's anything else oh, that, smells good, that I'm missing. I have no idea. We're going to grab water bottles when we leave too, or I'll throw an old one in here. That way I know I have it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And I hope this helps anyone who's struggling with this. I've been trying to be really organized about it. So it's not, you know, a stressful situation anymore that it will be when we leave. But if anyone has any other good tips or tricks, let me know. Okay, so I realized after I uploaded some of those what's in my bag videos that the other side of my suitcase, because we're using a typical like rolly uh, travel one, that I didn't include things that I'm taking for me, more personal things that I'm going to need aside from things that we'll need like post birth, I guess. Um, so I just wanted to recap those very, very quickly. Sorry about that. Um, so I brought some leggings, very comfy, not Lulu, like really stretchy leggings, a pair of really comfy pants, a crew neck sweater, a large oversized t-shirt, um, two pairs of pajamas. One is a, like a button up nightgown that's really comfy and stretchy, a pair of regular pajamas, and then a thin, um, kind of like waffle host coat and a pair of slippers a pair of flip-flops, which have both been recommended to bring. And then also uh, two fresh towels from home, I guess. That's something someone else told me, bring your own towel. So we've got two of those in there. And uh, that's it. Okay, so the last few days I've had some serious heartburn. I've just picked up some plain Greek yogurt, which I've read helps. I did have one of these, I'm just gonna have a tablespoon of that and just see, but I did have one of these pineapple ones, which was probably a bad idea because maybe the pineapple is too acidic and now I'm dying. So I'm gonna try this and see if it works. Well, watch this. Watch it go crazy. Okay, we're making a cauliflower pizza, which probably isn't the best thing for heartburn. I don't know, I didn't. I didn't put a ton of tomato sauce on it, but we'll see. So sometimes Jeff and I reflect together. Jeff? Are you going craving over... Cravings over what? Cravings over what? Over heel. <laughs> you have a craving. I don't know what that means. I didn't have a craving. This is me being lazy because it was frozen. Man, I'm pumped for pizza. I love pizza. <laughs> Okay, anyways, <laughs> you mean like... What about your heartburn, so, your healing, but, your indigestion? I know, but I don't know what else to make, anyway. Cravings, over healing. <laughs> I don't have a craving. This is just me being lazy. 
Uh, okay, I'm cutting up some mushrooms and also, <laughs> stop. I'm going to meet my friend Alex who is due in a week for a little lunch date. We'll both be, be bumping. And I can't wear anything other than leggings at this point, but like whatever. We are just in our way, on our way into Ikea to get a lamp. We're so excited. We're going to be in and out in 15 minutes. Under 15 minutes for Under sure. 15 minutes. We actually got a really close parking spot, which never happens. I think people assume it's closed, but it's not. There's only 25 people here. This is the best time to come. Yeah, we don't mind. We love an errand and maybe a few more errands. Last minute baby thing. It'll get done. I promise. All right. Do they have it? This has been on back order for so long. Is there a gold one? Yeah. <gasps> yes. <gasps> like four pumps. We're going to put this in the nursery by the chair. Love it so much. Okay, now I'm at Walmart to find some comfortable underwear. I think I got Hanes before because I've been hating all underwear. Like I said before, I usually only wear thongs. And I hate most maternity everything. So I'm just trying to find comfortable, regular stuff. Okay, so I think these are the ones that I have right now, which are, they're not high waisted, but they're kind of like mid, but they're just so soft. And fourteen dollars, you can't beat it. I'm telling you too. The bra selection here is so good. I bought a bra a few weeks ago, I'm trying to find it, and it's actually my favorite bra I've ever owned. Favorite over Lululemon, anything. And it was also like fourteen dollars. I hear Jeff whistling for me. I think it was this one. Is this a bra I got? I think so. This brand, Athletic Work. So good. Okay, I am coming to you completely makeup free. I just had a facial at Spirit Spa called the Bespoke Facial. It was absolutely amazing. <laughs> the second time I've had it in the last few months, she massaged my head and my scalp. So my hair feels a little wild but it's so relaxing. They do so many different like pressure points and mas massage techniques. And I fell asleep a few times as you do. <laughs> and I could feel myself snoring. I know this is like a pregnancy thing and I'm not usually a snorer, but hey, it happens. I also purchased this very expensive lip treatment um, called BioKiss. She used it last time and I meant to grab one on the way out it's $75. I'm ashamed to admit that, but I'm pregnant and I don't care. There's only so many little luxuries right now that I'm getting. And yeah, like I can't drink expensive champagne. So getting the bomb. This is the Walmart 90 that I got the other night. I think it was $16. I ended up getting a large, um, just because I really like things that are super, super oversized, especially being pregnant. And it came with this cute little scrunchie. Love it. Good morning. I am just getting ready, heading to an eye appointment to get some new contacts. And then I'm gonna go to Pilates, but first I need to eat. I'm so hungry, 36 weeks today. And the hunger is back. I wasn't as hungry the last few weeks. I would, well, I still, if I eat something, I get so full, it's like painful, but I could just get away with a granola bar or a smoothie or some fruit in the morning. And now I need like three breakfasts. I know little baby is gaining like a half a pound a week these last few weeks. So he has a couple more pounds and man, I'm starving.
good morning it is saturday it's a lovely saturday here in halifax i just finished a pilates class and now i'm on my way to meet my bestie sarah and her sister jen and uh, our friend erica we're going to daria which is actually in the queen's mark where we stayed at the muir there's a bunch of restaurants on the bottom so stay tuned i'm starving and can't wait we're a strong athlete and like it's kind of crazy. Um, no, she looks fabulous. So excited. <laughs> you enjoying it? Hold on. Hey guys. So this is a little bit of a get ready for me. It is Sunday. I am going to go for a walk, just had a nice shower, and then I'm going to head um, downtown for a Mooseheads hockey game. And then Sarah and I are going to my bestie, um, a dry January event, which is perfect. <laughs> It's a local vineyard down in the Annapolis, Annapolis Valley that we love, Benjamin Bridge. And they have some non-alcoholic mocktails that they're going to be sampling. Um, they make a non-alcoholic wine, a piquette, which is just like a citrusy 0% um, non-alcoholic wine. So I'm going to check that out and we'll bring you along. There are some things even going forward. I feel like in my morning routine, like part of it is self-care and just getting into routine, getting up, having breakfast, having a shower, getting dressed, putting makeup on is so important. And I think it just makes us feel, puts us in that rhythm, makes us feel more human um, and like ourselves. And I feel like it's going to be so hard once the baby comes, but I need to try and do like a small, small, small bit of that as much as I can. So I feel more like myself and normal. I know I've been talking a little bit about um, kind of shedding this older version or like what I'm used to and who I'm used to being and what I'm used to doing into something so, so, so different, which is so exciting. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's going to be interesting and I'm excited to kind of document that further once that happens in a few weeks to see what I'm able to even do because everyone just keeps saying how hard it is and how it's just so hard, which I understand and I know, but I feel like you need to remember, even if it's just journaling, doing these small, small things for five minutes, if you can, just to kind of ground yourself and be alone and remember who you are. I think it's really important. Okay, I just want to say that getting dressed is not my favorite thing on a regular day, but being pregnant, it is like, I dread opening this closet. <laughs> I, I can't really wear, I mean, I could wear these blazers. I probably won't wear those to the hockey game, but I do have to go to the event after. So it's like, what do I wear besides Lululemons and leggings? Um, it just, I look in here and I usually grab for a t-shirt or a hoodie and maybe a few sweaters if it's cold, but I am so sick of dressing. I hate all maternity clothes. My recommendation is do not buy or waste your money unless you have like a special thing or you work in like an office and you need to dress up all the time. But I have bought not too, too much stuff, but I haven't worn any of it. I just don't like it. I think it's ugly, a lot of it. And I just size up. I've been going to H&M, buying mediums and larges, and they're doing just fine. So that is kind of my recommendation. But the pants situation, awful, awful. some park time in the sunshine so nice and our last days <laughs> alone and our little baby yeah he's doing a ton of moving in there it's actually insane i don't know what that means but hopefully he's getting strong and ready to come out i have to go for a walk to try and put him to sleep <laughs> i'm not even here yet 